Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise you. We honor you. We exalt you. Hallelujah. Prince Emmanuel, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Because you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thou art worthy. Thou art holy. Thou art righteous. Hallelujah. God. Glory to God. We praise you. We honor you. And we lift you up this morning. Thank you, I'm Jesus. no longer a slave to fear. For I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. For For I am a child of God. You unraveled me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my Drowning perfect. 
Lord. I'm gonna ask Sister Hyde to come. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Hallelujah. For I am a child of God. We lift up the problem solver, 
We glorify the you bridge over troubled water. You oh, God Lord. Almighty. You're good to your people. Lord, you're good to you your people. Pray. God, you're good to your people. You when we call unto you, you hear us. Lord. And you answer us. And we thank you, you God Lord. Almighty. Lord. We thank you for taking us through the fire. We you thank you for glorified. taking us through the flood. We thank you for taking us through great troubles. But this morning we are here for no other purpose but to worship your God Almighty. Our hallelujah belongs to you this morning. My hallelujah belongs to you this morning, God. You are worthy, God Almighty. God, in the good time we praise him. God, in the bad time we praise him. God, of the mountain we praise him this morning. God of the valley, we praise you this morning. Yes, Christ God, though we walk to the valley of the shadow of death, we say we should fear no Christ evil, but God. praise him, because you are with us. They rather and they staff comfort God. us this morning. And we give God praise this morning. Christ you are Christ more Christ. than enough. God, you are bigger than Corona. And we worship you. Be your bigger than COVID-19. COVID yeah. And we praise him this morning. Oh, my God, reign. Our oh, God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above what you ever have to think of. And so we praise him this morning. We worship your God Almighty. We thank your God Almighty that we can come into your sanctuary another Sunday. Oh God Almighty, we thank you for the privilege. We thank you for the opportunity. God, we glorify you this morning. We lift him up. We place him high above all other gods. No God like Jehovah. None to compare with him. None are so as your God. You're excellent in all the earth. God, you're excellent in Africa, in New Zealand, in China. You're excellent in Jamaica, in Canada. God, you're excellent. You're excellent in all the earth this morning. In spite of everything, you are more than enough. You are bigger than the situation. You are bridge over troubled water. And we worship our provider. We worship our protector. When you preserve us each day in our going out and in our coming in, we thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. For preserving us. We thank you for sanitizing us with your blood. Lord God Almighty, we worship you this morning, knowing that there's wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Blood, the blood of Jesus prevail. The blood never loses power. And we thank you, God Almighty, that the blood which flows from the highest mountain to the lowest valley is still prevail. And we thank you this morning. We thank you. We thank you, God Almighty. Father, we commit to the service into your hand. Lord Jesus, take control. Remember the man of God as he deliver your word. Let your anointing rest upon him today, God Almighty. God Almighty, give him the strength that he need. Embrace him, God Almighty. And anoint him, God, for the hour. Lord Jesus, let him speak thus, said the Lord God Almighty. We pray, God, that you will give us receptive ears and heart to hear the word, God Almighty. And we pray, God, as we leave here today, it will be a blessing for us to be here. God, take full control today, God Almighty. Move from bench to bench, from heart to heart. Lord Jesus, let your blessing overflow. Let your blessing overflow today, God Almighty, as we continue to praise you in spirit and in truth. Have your own sweet divine way now, God. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. God. I'm going to ask Brother God. Reed now to come with the scripture reading. Thank you, Jesus. And the scripture reading will be taken from St. John 14, from verse 1 to 27. Morning, brothers and sisters. It's really a great opportunity to be with you today. It's been a long while since we have met, but my always my heart is always at the right place. Hallelujah. Our Praise scripture reading God. will be taken from John chapter 14, from 1 to 27. When you find it, say amen. amen. Uh, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, 
I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. And whether I go, in, and whether I go he know, and the way he know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me, unto the Father, but by me. If he had known me, he should have known my Father also. And from henceforth, he know him, and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffereth not. The ninth verse. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet as thou not know me, Philip, he that had seen me had seen the Father. And how, and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the work. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, and whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he shall ask, if he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If he love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but he know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the Lord and the world see me no more, but ye see me because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am I am in my Father, and he in me, and I in you. He that art my commandments and keepeth them, he it is he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judah said unto him, not, do not Judah said unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and, unto, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love me, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me, he that loveth me not, keepeth not my saying, and the word which he hear is not mine, but the father which he sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost who the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. 27 10, and this thus far, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Here is a portion of God, all the word, we honor it by saying, glory, glory to the Father, to the Father and, to the and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. as it was in the, the beginning, beginning ever shall be, world without Lord end. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Can I hear somebody praise the Lord? 
Hallelujah. Can I hear a shout of glory in this place? Hallelujah. I'm going to have Sister Jarrett now to come and do the welcome for us. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning again. Good morning. We surrender all to Jesus this morning. Amen. With all the nothing. Let us all stand and just tell him thanks for a few seconds. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise thank you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God has Glory been to good God. to us. Glory we can't complain. God. And because of his love and his tender mercy, we thank are here you. this morning. I am here to do the welcome. And I, first, I want to acknowledge my pastor and wife, Reverend and Sister Foster, our deacons, musicians, the media team, and all the brethren and friends who are here this morning, and those who are watching us live. Let us all give God the honor and praise because he has been good to us. And without him, we are nothing. So let us just give him the honor and the glory this morning. God bless you all. Praise God. Thank you so much for doing such a tremendous job. I'm going to ask the praise team now to come and lead us in Russia. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Begin to worship God. Begin to worship God. Hallelujah. Come on, begin to worship God. Hallelujah. Send some praise into the atmosphere. Send some praise into the atmosphere, people of God. Come on, speak into the atmosphere this morning. Speak into the atmosphere this morning. Hallelujah, we worship you. Glory we honor you. God. We glorify your name. Thank you, we glorify your name. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We honor you, God. We are alive and well. We are clothed in our right minds. We are here. We are here amidst God. What is happening? We are still standing. We are here. We are here. We are here. We are here. Hallelujah. We are here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Glory to your name this morning, God. God, we praise you. We praise you, Lord. I know it's not easy. I know. I know. But God is still in control. Yes. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. We worship you, God. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Speak some things into the atmosphere. Just open your mouth and begin to speak some things into the atmosphere. Yes, I am covered by your blood, God. I have your peace, God. I decree and declare that it is well, God. Yes, God. Yes, God, I thank you. I honor you this morning. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. So we're going to sing and speak some things into the atmosphere this morning. We are going to sing and speak some things into the atmosphere. Huh? It is polluted. So we're going to clear it up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to clear it up. Hallelujah! Hey, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Because the Lord is on my side, things 
Things already better. Things already better. Hey. They're going to speak some things into the atmosphere, you know. Yes. Things already better. Because the Lord is on our side. Things already better. Things already better. Come on, speak it. Things already better. Things already better.
Lord, cover me. Hallelujah. Cover me. Oh, peace of God. Cover me. Through the storm. Through the storm. Oh, cover me. Cover me. Just the 
voices, just the voices sing. Peace of God, cover me, cover me, cover me. Peace of God, cover me through the storm. of God cover us this morning because it's only in you I am safe only almighty God we are secure only in you precious Jesus we are saved so we're going to ask him to come us hallelujah hallelujah oh, oh yes Jesus Oh! 
you can carry you through your storm so no matter what storm you are going through this morning just ride them out because the peace of God it will cover you this morning we're going to worship in our giving hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah come on children of God you should be rejoicing this morning man I should be, 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 be saying to you this morning to worship God. You should be up on a boat and giving him the praise. Hallelujah. Because we are not numbered among the dead this morning. We are not in the mortuary for to getting ready to go into the casket. But we are alive and well. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, praise team. We're going to worship in our giving. And we're going to ask the ushers to come. Hallelujah. As we worship. If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on the fiery line. If you win, my brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the fiery line. Life is meditation for the master there. Help to banish evil and to spread good cheer. Where to be rewarded for your service? Here's to keep on the fiery line. You must fight. Brave against all evil, never run, or never lag behind. If you win for God and the right, we fall the fiery line. You must fight, be brave against all evil, never run, or never lag behind. If you win for God and the right.
of God worship the Lord let me hear worship the Lord let me hear show hallelujah let me hear show glory let me hear show thank you Jesus hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus I'm now going to decrease hallelujah I'm going to and over now to our very own Reverend Winston Foster in the care of the Blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah.
Somebody wave your hand and give him the highest praise in the house. Raise your hand and give him the highest praise in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. God is worthy. He is to be exalted. He is to be praised. He is to be lifted up. Somebody shout the highest praise to him. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Rock of ages. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace this morning. We bow down before you. We love and adore you. Oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. Mm, what a mighty God. What a great God. What a great God we serve. He is to be praised. He is to be exalted. My brothers and sisters this morning, let me greet you in that powerful name. The name of the Most High God, our Father, who art in heaven. Glory to God. Let me greet those who joining with us on the internet. Welcome. And God Almighty bless your hearts as we worship Him together. I hope you are in your church clothes and your heart where you are. And your mass. And uh, if you are in your bedroom, you are in church. If you're on the veranda, you are in church. If you're in your living room, you are in church. Hallelujah. Lift him up and exalt him where you are this morning. Thank God. Thank God. That we are privileged to be a little more than the number of last week. Glory to God. Good to see so many of you. Faces again. Amen. So if you see me looking, me still looking how if I remember the faces, how them still. Praise God. Glory to God. And those of you who couldn't be here today, I'm looking forward to see you someday, to see your face again. God bless you for tuning in with us this morning. And let me hope all our mothers, last week you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Don't know the key it was. But you know you are highly appreciated. Amen. And God bless you all mothers. And we want to thank Auntie Pat for that program that she put organized and put on the on Facebook as she highlighted so many of our mothers. On the, uh, on, the, on the internet last week. God bless you, Auntie Pat, and again, God bless you, mothers. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody just worship him. Somebody just worship him. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. St. John 14 with me. And the verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. We say amen to the word of God. Father, we thank you for your word. I thank you for the anointing now. I thank you for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Lord, give your the wind a mighty voice across the internet today. Let your name be glorified. Your people be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Peace I leave with you. I want the praise team to sign and sing two verses of this song with me. When peace like a river, the first and the last. When peace like a river. When peace like a river and my way.
last verse again for me. Oh God. well it is well hallelujah. it is well thank you Jesus hallelujah it is well because God is in control it is well because our God is sovereign it is well because our God is leading us it is well because we are saving him it is well because we are securing him 
it is well because we have peace in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God, it is well, it is well. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all of that is within me, my God. We bless your name. We bless your name. It is well. We bless your name. It is well. It is well. It is well. I we thank you we lift up your presence and glorify it's thy well. name it is well. yes Lord it is well we have the assurance this morning we feel the assurance from your presence thank you Lord that it is well, it is well. hallelujah My God, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, mighty God, Jesus, it is well. Praise God. The 
assurance. It is well. It is well. Praise God. Glory to God. Holy Ghost. My God. Mama, baby, baby. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Thank you, God. Peace I leave with you. That's the legacy. A part of the legacy. Christ leave for his children. Glory to God. Jimi Hendrix ended a concert in 1970 by smashing his guitar on stage. The audience applauded wildly, then suddenly stopped. Hendrix had fallen to his knees and remained motionless. He broke the stillness by asking if Anyone is here who know real peace. I want to visit with you backstage. Apparently, no one responded to his request. Several days later, he died from a drug overdose my god hallelujah my brothers and sisters if he if he could only have heard the words of jesus christ peace i leave with you oh holy ghost Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus spoke these words at the hour of his greatest trial and that of his disciples. Glory to God. You see, my brothers and sisters, we tend to think of peace as the absence of something, war, poverty, stress, and so forth. So if no war is going on, we, we said we have peace. Hallelujah. If we are not poor, we have peace. If we are stress-free, we have peace. And so forth. But hear me, brothers and sisters. The word peace is broader than that. Hallelujah. The word peace comes from the Hebrew shalom, which means well-being. Hallelujah. So when the child of God had peace, 
Hallelujah. You have peace in your entire life. Peace come in a package. A complete package. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. It is a common Jewish greeting and word of blessing. Hallelujah. It means to be whole. Hallelujah. So when the, when the, the Jews said to his fellow Jews, Shalom, he was saying, I wish you to be whole. In body, soul, and spirit. Oh, glory to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It means to be whole. To be complete. To have and experience the best of everything God has for you. Oh, bless the Lord, God Almighty, Church of God. The priest pronounced the shalom on the people of God. Number 6, 24 to 27. Glory to God. The Greek Word for peace means to bind together. The Hebrew means to be whole. The Greek means to bind together. So, when you bind something together, it comes back again into a whole. Huh? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus binds together God and man. Hallelujah. Remember God and man separated because of sin. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But when Jesus Christ died on Calvary and you and I accept him as Lord and Savior, he binds us together with God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He brings us together. Spirit, mind, and body. So that we are complete and whole in him. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory to the name of Jesus Christ. So the believers, when you have Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, you must be whole in your mind, in your body, and in your soul. You must be complete in him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In numbers there, glory to God, the priest pronounced that benediction on the people. God the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. This is the blessing God said to the priest. When you go before my people, bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Oh God, with the complete blessing and wholeness of Almighty God. That may be well in body, well in spirit, well in soul. 
Oh, glory to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he brings us together in complete wholeness. In 1 Thessalonians 5.23, glory to God. The apostle Paul said to the, Corinth, to the Thessalonians believers, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. Hallelujah. And I pray God that your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody worship him. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters out here, Jesus said he would give us his peace. Hallelujah. Not as the world give it. Hallelujah. Oh, God. For the same person who just passed you 10 minutes ago and said, Peace. Lord God. <laughs> Before the day is over, the same person. You wonder if it's the same person who said peace earlier on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But peace is not something that comes from the lip. Peace must be in the heart. Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When peace is in the heart, it can't change. If somebody even bounce you, that peace remain. Hallelujah. If somebody pass you and don't need to see you or look at you, your peace of God still remain. No matter how what persecution you're going through, brother, the peace of God must remain. The world peace will change and disappear. But the peace of God remains. Oh, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Peace I leave with you. Hallelujah. He didn't say, how shall I leave with you? He said, peace, I live with you. Hallelujah. You are going to live in a world, my oh God, that may not like you. A world that will persecute you. A world that you're going to have trouble in. Oh God. Hallelujah. But in the midst of it, my peace, this is what I leave with you to counteract. The, the crisis of the world and the problems of the world. Hi, Holy Ghost. Can I speak to somebody out there? Hallelujah. This is what I leave with you to overcome the war and the crisis of life. My peace. My peace. My peace. My peace, I leave with you. This is the legacy. This is written on the will. It's on the will for every child of God. Oh, Lord God Almighty. So hear me, no child of God can be war boat. I love cuss and quarrel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. This is the heritage of the children of God. I leave this on the will with you. Hallelujah. War will be around you. War will be in your life. Conflict will be in your life. Trouble will be in your life. Persecution will come. But the peace must be there. The peace must be there. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you get up in the morning, you must get up with peace. You go to work, you must go to work with peace. When you drive on the road, you must drive with peace. Hallelujah. You walk in the supermarket, you must walk with peace. Oh, God Almighty, when you walk in your house, you must walk in peace. When you come to church, you must come to church with peace. For my peace, I live with you. Peace must be in your life, man. Peace must be in your life. Glory to God. What did Christ leave? His children. He left us. He left us. The finished work of redemption. And a part of the finished work of redemption is peace. Romans 5 and verse 1. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God. And if you have peace with God, you must have peace with your wife, peace with your husband. Peace with your neighbor. Peace with your brethren. Peace with your relatives. Peace with your enemy. Peace with your co-workers. Holy God. Almighty. Brothers and sisters. You have to be justified by faith to have peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For the Bible said in Isaiah 48 and verse 22, there is no peace for the wicked, said the Lord. I, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No peace for the sinner. So if you're in church and you can't have peace with your brother, Check your life if you're saved. Hey. Woo. Oh, glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No peace. For the wicked. Set the Lord. So if every day you're in a war with somebody. No peace. Check your life. Check your, the heart tone. If it's right. With God. Christian must have peace for it, it, it left on the will for every born again sanctified Holy Ghost set apart believer glory to God hallelujah so Judith I should be afraid to approach you sister Hyde if you have the peace of God and anything I should not fear to approach you and say something to you without you cursing me or telling me something else. I must answer you with peace. You must answer me with peace in your heart. It's a must. Being justified by faith, you have peace with God. And if you have peace with God, 
You must have it with your fellow men. You must have it with your brethren. You can't have peace with God and you don't have peace with your brother. My peace I leave with you. Hallelujah. According to Colossians 1.20, he made peace through the blood of the cross. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, but there was enmity between God and man. There was a war fear there between God and man. And through the blood of the cross, Jesus Christ made peace. Glory to God. Amen. So we must have peace. Hear me, brothers and sisters. Religion. Oh, God. And trying to earn our way to heaven. All that produces more guilt, fear, and feeling of insecurity. Glory to God. But peace comes when we rest in the finished work of Christ who said, it is finished. Lord God, when Jesus died before he died on that cross, and when he said it is finished, he mean war between God and man finished. Hallelujah. Glory to God. War between man and man if you're saved must done. You know, brethren, sometimes it puzzles me. That we, we are brethren. And we're free to approach you. We're free to say anything to you. For the way you are going to answer me. The fear is there. Glory to God. But that should be when we not see him. Huh? Yeah, man, for when we not see the devil living away, we have the spirit of darkness in our way. Glory to God. But when we see him, it's the spirit of Christ that dwells in us. Glory to God. And Christ can't disrespect you. Christ can't tell you something to hurt you. When you see if you can't belittle your brethren by telling them where you feel like. Mm. Peace comes when we rest in the finished work of Christ. Hallelujah. It is finished. Glory to God. This is what he meant in Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 and verse 30. Due to 30. Come take my yoke and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I will give you rest. Said the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The second point, my brothers and sisters. He left us the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He left us the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. In St. John 14, verses 16 to 17, he said, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you 
another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Hallelujah. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him not, but he know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. God Almighty, then how the Holy Ghost in you and you're not have peace. Come on, church of God. How the Holy Spirit is in you. Glory to God. And you can't have peace with your neighbor. Now your brethren, your, 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 your fellow workers, not nobody. But the Holy Ghost is not a war boat. The Holy Ghost is a peacemaker. Oh God. Hallelujah! To the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Paul said to the brethren in Romans 14, 17, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God forevermore. My brothers and sisters, if I can't have peace with you, and you can't have peace with me, Lord God, let's go back and sit down and check the book. Something is wrong somewhere. Oh, glory to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Holy Spirit of God. Aye. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Is not meat and drink, but righteousness. Peace is a part of the fruit of the Spirit. Glory to God. And every Christian must be a. If you notice, Jesus didn't say fruits. Fruit. It's in a package. So you can't pick out one, say so you're going to have this one. And you don't have that one. It's the whole bunch you have to take. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. So don't tell me that you're sanctified and you don't have peace. Don't tell me that you're righteous and don't have peace. Don't tell me that you have love and you don't have peace. God Almighty. Hallelujah. You must have the whole package. Hallelujah. The fruit of the Spirit. Mm. Glory to God. Let me move to the second point. My brothers and sisters. My peace I give you. Not as the world gives. Mm. For the world peace is short lived. It's a temporary peace. Short live, some, sometimes not even a minute. Not an hour. The world peace. Glory to God. For you may have peace with the world until you disagree. And that's the type of peace some people have in church. We have peace till we disagree. 
The moment I disagree with you, Clayton, peace done. The moment I tell you the truth, The moment I don't take side with you, the peace is over. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But the type of peace that Jesus had, even when the world was his enemy, the world was against him, he still loved the world. When he could have killed them all. But he have peace and love. My oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters. Worldly peace. Is not a substitute for work. For real peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The peace of the world. But somebody will tell you that. May have what? Brother, may, may, may have peace, you know. Why you say have peace? Because nobody not trouble him. Nobody not say anything about him. Oh, God. Hallelujah. They have peace because they pick them to make nice out the trouble in the house. Glory to God. Me lie down you in peace. Because your wife not said nothing yet to upset you. Oh uh oh. Lord God. Hallelujah. Now your husband not do anything for you upset you. <laughs> so we have peace. Glory to God. But when they upset you. And you don't like what they said. Or what they do. You still have peace in the house. Our peace take a vacation. Oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, brothers and sisters, some of us take on a counterfeit peace. The counterfeit peace look good until something go wrong. But something will show it up. Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Let me say, brothers and sisters, I, 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 I sent it. I think it was Friday evening, a brother from one of my former officers, Santa Cruz, was talking. And I, I said to him, Look here. Peace must go beyond the disagreement and the disappointment that you have. Hmm? The storm. It's blowing around you. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. But look where the peace rests. In the eye of the storm. So, so to counteract the storm around you. You must find yourself in the eye of the storm. Glory to God. So once you're inside there, Clayton could have talked till he dropped down, you know, here. Oh, God Almighty. But some of us in the storm, in the eye of the storm, you know. But the moment somebody outside making nice, we tap out for me. You know, you know more woman than me. And you know more man than me. So me have to answer her. And me have to answer him. You lost the battle. You lost the warfare. You lost everything. Dear brothers and sisters. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus never stepped off the cross with all what was going around him. Hey, oh, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He maintained his peace. Glory to God. And he looked up and he said, all he said in the midst of the storm, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they have done. Oh God, now let nobody take you out of the eye of the storm to destroy the peaceful rest. Maintain your peace. Though the storm raging around you. No matter what storm cloud. May rock the ship of mine. The light of my Savior will lead me safely through the night. Though the ship may be battered and the sail may be torn, I'm going to rest. I'll rest. I will rest. It's a determination. It's a decision you have to make. Oh, God Almighty, hallelujah, that no matter what is happening around me, I'm going to have peace, I'm going to rest. Now let the devil disturb your sanity and upset your mind. For what, what went into that Jesus come at that moment? Even the devil, Jesus, said, hold your peace. So sometimes when some of your brethren come and want war with you, Satan, hold your peace. I said something to somebody the other day. And I said, listen to me. When the devil approach you, and if you're not said nothing, he can't accuse you, you know. And the word will come out of you in you, destroy and accuse you. And the very word where you use, that Satan will use against you. But if you fool your peace, Sometimes, some people will come to your gate and cuss you. Sit down on your veranda and look for them. So. Don't say a word. And if you're, if you're tired, you sit down and start singing. Satan, you can't prevail. Satan, you can't prevail. 
because of disobedience. God turn you out of heaven. You want to know the church is moved. And me at the church. Satan. Satan, you come. If you even come to church and one of your brethren upset with you and accuse you falsely, Satan, you can't prevail. Disobedient, hold on to that. Satan, Satan, somebody worship him. The worldly peace is not a substitute for real peace. Listen to what Jesus said to Jeremiah to tell the children of Israel in Jeremiah 8 and verse 11. Then Dress the wound of my people as though it were not serious. Peace, peace, they say, when there is no peace. Lord God, brothers and sisters, worldly leaders often the false peace of a false peace since the beginning of recorded history at 3600 BC glory to God historians estimate there has only been 292 years of peace Over 10,000 peace treaties made and broken. And now, there are over 100 wars and conflicts in the world. Glory to God. Yet the greatest war is awaiting us at Armageddon. Brothers and sisters, the Apostle Paul said to the Thessalonian believers in Thessalonians 5 and verse 3, while people are saying peace and safety, sudden destruction will come on them. God help me. Hear me, brothers and sisters. Prosperity, pleasure, power and power cannot bring lasting peace to a man. Hallelujah. Prosperity will go in our day. Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. In one single minute, happiness and pleasure can change. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. You can last power in five minutes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But hear me if you want lasting peace. Lasting peace and true peace can only come from God. Hallelujah. But God himself, he said, is our peace. God is our peace. Hallelujah. It is in him that peace dwells. Hallelujah. And if God dwells in you, and you in God, you must have the peace of God within you. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I'm coming home. Real peace is based on a personal relationship with Jesus. You can't have peace without him. You can't not have peace without him. Glory to God. And that is why sometimes it marvels your house. Our peace changed so fast. 
if we really have Christ. Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. The Bible said in Ephesians 1 verse 14, Christ is our peace. Christ is our peace. Glory to God. So again, he is the prince of peace. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. The wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, the prince of peace. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, glory to God. It's not baptism bring your peace. It's not being a member of the organization that brings your peace. It's not how long you are in church or the work that you do in church that brings your peace. Hallelujah. It is the presence of Jesus in your personal life that brings your peace. Show me your peace. And I will tell you that you have a relationship with Christ. And you know how you love me for me have peace with you. And say so you have to you have to be at peace with the very enemy. Come now. Come with me. If you think if if you think I tongues are we speaking uh, as good as that is. And the rocking and the shaking and the run up and down. But some of us feel that some people don't run like me and shout like me and speak in tongues like me. Them not see them. Lord God. But some of those people have far more peace than some of us who speak every Sunday. And shout every Sunday. For is not that give you peace. Is your relationship with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That give you peace. Lasting peace. And real peace. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Real peace is based on a personal relationship, brother, with Jesus Christ. In Psalm 16 and verse 8, the psalmist said, The Lord is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Nothing will shake you when God is at your right hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now come tell me. That sister Patinja upset you. But sometimes. Either God or the devil will make somebody upset you. For sure you say you know how real peace has your thing. Hey. There is a man I know back home, you know, Brother Chris, in the in the sixties as a boy. That time some of you know him most of you know I go back. Not you do this. Him have a, a VW bus. And every day he run it from Santa. To Black River. And in boost, then bus good. And he have a good bus, man. Well, in 
in a broke down pan road. But every day I met up on the road from Black River, you see first day in turn up spur tree. You never reach man bump, you know. And don't, you don't know man bump, but spur tree turn look good now. My God, that that thing I've realized saying, nah, no injured. No, nah, no bus. It's nice on the level. But once it touched the hill, no power. And many of us shout when nobody no trouble with. No persecution we shout. No trials we shout. Oh God, because we are on a level. Woo, yeah. But when we come face to face with, with the devil's spur tree. Ah, oh God, when we come face to face with the devil Melrose Hill. Ah, oh God, we see we engine no good. On the level we can't run, but on the level, on the level. But you can't go heaven if you can't climb your spiritual spur tree. Hallelujah. When you come face to face with your spiritual spur tree hill, you must be able to climb. Find your one gear. Gear down and climb. Lord God, can I preach? Woo! My God, man. Huh. Oh, yeah. in, this, in this crisis that we're facing, this coronavirus crisis, hallelujah, we're coming face to face with a spiritual mountain. Lord God Almighty, and we hear many engines are boiled down. Many engines are boiled down. Many engines are overheat. Hallelujah. But when you went across the Prime Minister, your engine are overheat. You can't climb your mountain. Hallelujah. In the midst of this, you must gear down. Find the right gear. Find the right gear. To climb. To climb. You can't go up there in a high speed. Even if I automatic, you hear it change out. It change out itself. But no one can go there in a high speed. Holy Ghost, children of God. Holy Ghost, children of God. Hallelujah. You must gear down. Gear down spiritually. And find your right gear. For you must climb your mountain. You must climb your hills. And, it, and it's not everywhere on the left you can go in a high speed. Neither for you can't take corner in a high speed. But some of the corner is as such, brother. Hey, if I stand that, you have to gear down. Hallelujah. And if I automatic, you ease up. In go down. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. To the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen, church of God. I will not be shaken. David said, no, may have real peace.
the solid peace. For God is at my right hand. And I will not be shaken. When Corona over brother. I must still have my peace. I must still have my sanity. I must still be in my right mind. Oh Lord God Almighty. I must still have my relationship. With Jesus Christ. My Lord. Hallelujah. And David understand this. When he said. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. He maketh me to lie down. In green pastures. He leadeth me. He not drive me. He not left me on my own. He lead me. Besides still waters. Hallelujah. For rough water can restore you. Hallelujah. Rough water will drown you. Will wash you away. So Jesus said. God said I'll lead you. Beside still waters. In order to restore your soul. Hmm. God, peace I leave with you. Peace I leave with you. Let me close. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Set the word of God. Now let this crisis drive fear in you. Let not your heart be troubled. Is not the president of the United States control the world. But well, I wouldn't want to be in a hit for him control it. Holy Ghost. If it was man that controlled this world, I would not want to be in it. But because it's God. And God is saying to the church, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Hallelujah. He said in this world you will have trouble. Mm. Lord God Almighty. Church of God. While we don't have control over the world around us. None of us have control over the world around us. Glory to God. We do have control of our own hearts. You have control of your own heart. Proverbs 4.23 what he said, if you never have control, you couldn't keep. He said, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it is the issue of life. When the crisis is over, life must be still coming out of your heart. When the problem is over, life must be still coming out of your heart. Glory to God. But you see the problem. Many times we keep letting fear in. We keep letting fear in. Brothers and sisters. There is a great saying. And I quote. Fear knock at the door. Faith answered. And there was no one there. Fear. Knock at the, your door. Faith. Answered.
there was nobody there. Just like him, a wrong number, wrong address. Lord God, but I challenge you this afternoon. Turn your worries to God. You're, 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 you're having problems? You're worrying? Turn it to God. Hallelujah. The Bible said in Philippians 4, 6, 7. Be careful for nothing. But in everything. By prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving. Let your request. Lord God. Be made known. Unto God. Instead of sitting down worrying, send your request to God. Lord God Almighty, hallelujah. Show me one problem where worry ever us all. One problem in your life that worry ever us all. It creates a multitude more. Oh, glory to God. Be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. But by prayer, supplication, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, hallelujah, that passes all understanding shall keep your heart and mind through Christ. Somebody worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You want to get rid of your stress? Send your request to God. Turn your worries over to God. Surrender your problem to God. Carry them at his feet. When it's a burden lifted. Burden is lifted. At Calvary. Burden. Is lifted. At Calvary. Hallelujah. 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 You don't have to die. In your condition. You don't have to commit suicide. No. No. With prayer. Prayer. There is no lock that the key of prayer can open. There is no problem that prayer can solve. There is no river becoming uncrossable when prayer is involved. There is no mountain that prayer can't move with God. Oh, church of God. There is no storm that cannot be calm through prayer. Prayer locked the lion's mouth. Prayer quenched the fiery furnace. Hallelujah. Prayer open prison door. Oh God Almighty. What we need, what we need is a God box. It's a God box we need. When you go to a bank, you then have suggestion box. God no want no suggestion from me, you know. We need, we need a God box. And what we are going to do with the God box? Hmm? We're going, you're going to put your cares and worries in the God box and leave them there. When you put your suggestion in the, 
you not go back to take you to answer him to say, somebody going to the box to take out your, your suggestion and look at it. And if they can implement it, then sometimes they show you why it can work. Lord God Almighty. So when you put your cares and your worries in the God box, nobody go back to open it, left the box. Let God take out. Take it out. Let God take it out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. My brothers and sisters, there are people and situations you simply cannot control. Oh, God, you can't control some things. Hallelujah. Only God can reach them or change the situation. Hallelujah. Who or what are you worrying about today that you need to put in the God box? Hallelujah. 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 Hear me, church of God. Hear me, my brothers and sisters out there. Trust God with your outcome. When you turn something over to God, trust him to work it out. And stop worrying about it. Mm. Trust God with your outcome. Mm. So when you say, God, here is my request in the God box. Leave it. Let God work it out. And stop worrying about it. God. Finally, my brothers and sisters, as you put them in the God box, leave them there. The last thing you do, find someone bigger than yourself. Find somebody bigger than yourself to believe in. And who can you find bigger than yourself but God? Only God is bigger than you. Only God. The prime minister no bigger than you. No world leader bigger than you. No politicians bigger than you. Hallelujah. Only God is bigger than you. Hallelujah. So if you find anybody to take care of your situation, find God. Find God. My peace. I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. God bless you. Have one last thing to do. Get yourself prepared now. I want you to stand with me. Where is our sister for? She's here. Yeah, get yourself prepared. Glory to God. There is a request I have here for Sister Bailey's daughter Monica. She's in the hospital in Kingston. She has serious condition too. Because they will have to do surgery, I think, on Monday or Tuesday. Sister Foster spoke with her. And it's not an easy brothers and sisters. But although you feel God, God is still merciful. And we're going to take a request to God in prayer. Glory to God. So I want you to stand with me. We can't join hand now, so we have a giant heart. We have to link the heart and our faith together now before Almighty God. 
I also want to thank you for the prayers for my brother. Who I told you was sick. Oh, glory to God. He eating more than me now. Yes. Glory to God. He's walking about. And yesterday when I sat there, Sister Foster can tell you, totally there's a change in going back to your old self. Praise God and thank you for prayer. And thank God for recovery. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, nobody can tell me that God no alive. Nobody can tell me that God is not a miracle working God. Woo. Mighty God. Hallelujah. When I walked in the house yesterday, and him meet me and open the door. Lord God. Man, man, no. Holy Ghost. Bow your heads with me. And I want you to pray along with me. As we pray for Monica. Not only, Lord God. God is a God of a second chance. God of another chance. I mean, I only pray for God heal Monica. But first thing we want God to do is save Monica. Change Monica's life. And this time, God mash up everything that causing her to keep backsliding. Mash it up. Turn it over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our God. Our Father. Who art in heaven. Hallowed. Be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Your will be done, Lord, in earth as it is in heaven. Lord God, I come to you with this request. Holy Ghost, take it to the throne room. I, mighty God, Manika Bailey, Manika Bailey, in the KPH hospital, life and death, God, 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 you know the word she's on. You know the number bed. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Enter the word. Draw close. There is no physical distance between your manicure. Lord God, you can't touch Monica. But Corona no have no power over you. Lay your hand upon Monica. In the name of Jesus Christ. I curse that sickness from her body. Lord God Almighty, right now. 
now. Right now, Holy Ghost, you do the operation. Do the operation right now. You don't have to take her to theater. Ah, God, right on Monica bed. Right on her bed. You can perform the operation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Monica be made whole. Monica Bailey be made whole. Lord God, in your mercy. 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 Forgive Monica. Rescue Monica. Save Monica again. And change her situation, God. Anything in Monica's life. That become a stronghold. Lord God, tear it down. God, tear it down. Ripped it out of Monica's life. You love her soul. You love her soul. And the Holy Ghost will save her now. Deliver her from sin. And that sickness, God, that condition. In the name of Jesus Christ. God, I believe you. I thank you. Marvel the doctors. And the consultants. The entire medical team in the hospital. Oh God. Oh God. You said we pray for the sick and they shall recover. I stand on your word this afternoon. And give you glory. And give you praise. Bless your children today. Those who have listened to your words. Those who have lost their peace. Overtaken by fear. Your words will bring comfort to their hearts. Oh Lord God Almighty. Let not their heart be troubled. Lord, neither let their heart be afraid. But you will comfort your children and bring peace to their soul. I thank you again for today. And we commit all into your hands now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for our sister who have committed her life to you. And Lord, she's about to do the next thing. I'm following you publicly in water. Eternal God. Eternal God. Sanctify her soul. If there is anything in her way that need to fix, fix it. Completely transform it and fix it God for her and for your soul. Thank you for your blessing today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God.
He knows just what to do. Whenever you pray, let 